Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Monday the 5th of October 2015, New Zealand time. And this video we're looking at this image of uh, this hurricane filmed from the International Space Station as shown in this video by Mr Thrive and Survive called NASA Busted Worst Ever to Date. Uh, so we're looking at um, this image here and in particular this um, blob of light as it's been described here off to the left hand side of this hurricane. Now there's been some discussion about this image and claims that it's been photoshopped and that the blob of light has been removed already. So if I scroll down to the comments we can see this comment here by Marie Wright saying lol look at this they photoshopped the light blob out already and there is the link to an image. Now there's been some discussion about this and I've pointed out that if you compare the two images side by side you'll see that they are two different pictures. I'm sure that Scott Kelly, the astronaut, didn't take just one image. And so if I scroll up and we look at the image and compare it, this is the one uh, that is shown in Mr Thrive and Survive's video. But if we go to the link provided by Marie Wright, we can see this image here. And indeed, um, there is no blob of light on that on that hurricane. Okay. So what I've done is I've I've saved the image uh, by going save as, and also on this image here, I went full screen and I took a screenshot of the image. Okay. And I've imported them into Paint.net, and uh, at the moment you can see the the image that was taken from the link that was posted by uh, Marie and if I bring back the other image you can see that this is the one that's overlaid from Mr Thrive and Survive's video. You can see the light blob there. So if I switch backwards and forwards you can see quite clearly that they are in fact two different images. Compare the um, position of the solar array to the uh, edge of the planet, uh, compare the the clouds. Now you have to remember that the International Space Station is traveling around the world at 17,500 miles an hour or 28,000 kilometers uh, an hour. It's uh, traveling around the world uh, once approximately every 90 minutes. Now yes I'm speaking as somebody who believes that the Earth is a globe and not a flat Earth. But what is being discussed here is not flat Earth, it is this image and this light blob and whether or not this image has been photoshopped. We can see clearly that they are two different images. Just compare the placement of, of things. Okay. Now in answer to some of the other questions about what we're seeing in this image, uh, this green uh, tinge um, is likely to be aurora activity and this white blob is uh, lightning and if you search for other images of lightning from space you will see uh, similar images. Um, and this here uh, I believe that that is um, just from uh, lighting uh, of a city. Uh, it could also be lightning but I think it's just um, lighting of a city. Um, and the question about the the images and and stars and things like that, well, it all depends on the camera settings. If you've got a DSLR camera, you'll be familiar with uh, exposure settings, shutter time, all that sort of thing, ISO ratings. Um, and this wouldn't be some cheap point and shoot camera that this astronaut is using. He'll be using a DSLR camera, and he'll be using it accordingly. Um, so, you know, uh, there's no great mystery here. There are two different images, as we can clearly see by doing a comparison. Now, I see from my email notifications that somebody has asked, why did they change the picture then? Well, I don't see a link in the description area under Mr. Thrive and Survive's video um, to the original image that he was looking at. It's quite possible that the image has come from a different source. Let's have a look at the image there. Um, seen from space, Hurricane Jacqueline turn, uh, turns towards Bahamas. 
um, news photo October 2nd 2015. Now the one that I'm looking at here is this one here which is on a NASA website which looks completely different. Different uh, title on that as well. So um, I'm guessing it's just come from a different source. Um, why are the images different? Well, if I was an astronaut on the International Space Station um, going around the Earth once every 90 minutes and uh, seeing the amazing sights that I would be seeing, I don't think I'd be taking one photo and then putting my camera away. I think I'd be taking lots of photos and um, you know, I'm, I'm sure a lot of those photos are posted elsewhere. Um, it's no great conspiracy. An astronaut has taken several photos. One image has been posted on one website and another image has been posted on a different website. When we compare the two images, we see that they are not the same image. Simple. Uh, this is an insert edit to my video. I just started uh, rendering it when I uh, spotted something. Um, I did a Google search of this phrase here, seen from space, Hurricane Jarquin churns towards Bahamas. I searched that exact phrase using quotation marks, and what do we find? It's still there. So the image hasn't been removed at all, it's just that it's on a different website. This one is on the NBC News website, and the other one that was posted in the link in the, in the video by uh, Marie Wright, that one there is a NASA link. The one that Richard has used in his video is from an NBC or other news um, website. This looks like the same one that he was using uh, because we could see the timestamp here, October 2nd, 2015, 1.02 p.m., which is exactly what we see in his video here. So it hasn't been removed. It's still there. I'll post the links in the description area underneath my video and you can check them out for yourself. So now maybe uh, Mr. Um, Jaravan, or however you pronounce that name, would like to apologize for his comments. Um, now that I've shown that the uh, two images are in fact different images, despite what he claims. Um, he claims that the image is the same image. I've shown that it is, in fact, a different image.